Just saying. Welcome. I'm so happy you're here. My name is Carl Antel and this is my podcast. I have a great show for you today. Always a topic that I hope will awaken that inner spirit in my listeners. And this topic is a doozy. So sit back, turn up the volume, and listen up. I'm just saying... Congress is meant to be a citizen legislature. Our representatives were supposed to go to Washington, serve for a short time, then return to live under the laws they made. This vision has been lost. Congress is now a haven for career politicians who put their own power, perks, and privileges ahead of public service. Even worse, They are impossible to unseat, thanks to cozy connections with lobbyists and special interests. This broken system needs repair. U.S. term limits is fighting to call a convention under Article 5 of the Constitution to propose an amendment for term limits on the U.S. House and Senate. If we do not act now, we may never be able to bring back government of by and for the people just a few more points congress's ratings are at a historic low point the american people no longer trust career politicians to run for re-election over and over again Members of Congress seem to care more about pandering to campaign contributors and special interest groups than representing their constituents. Election rules and government power has been perverted to the point that it has become almost impossible for the people to vote their elected representatives out of office. 84% of American people support term limits. Congress will not vote an amendment to term limit itself. But Article 5 of the Constitution allows for states to bypass Congress to propose the amendment through convention. That is what we need to do. I do hereby support a term limits convention to enact a constitutional amendment for term limits on members of the U.S. Senate and on members of the House of Representatives. I can only hope that you'll join with me in this support. Thank you for your interest in term limits. A simple and popular reform that offers regular rotation in office, competitive elections, access to office for citizen legislatures, increased transparency, and a reduction in the influence of special interests and lobbyists. In other words, term limits brings legislatures closer to the people. What you may not know, that there is a term limits amendment bill with co-sponsors introduced in both the U.S. House and the U.S. Senate that would limit representatives to three-year terms, six years, and senators to two terms. 12 years. We have to let our Congress members know we expect action on these bills. I think it's time to step up and take back our government. Congress will never limit their terms on their own, so we have to take steps to get it done. Here are some ways you can help. Go to the USTL, United States Term Limits, website. Sign the online petition calling for congressional term limits. This will send a message to Congress. It will also put you in the database so you can keep alerted to local term limit news. Forward link to your friends and family. Our goal is to send Congress a million petitions 
calling for term limits. Ask your local candidate for Congress to sign the USTL pledge to co-sponsor and vote for the current term limits amendment bill if they are elected. Ask your U.S. representative and U.S. senators to co-sponsor the Congressional Term Limits Amendment Bills, HJR 71 and SJRES 11. Educate yourself about the movement. Remember, this is your government. Take it back. Contribute to U.S. Term Limits. Founded in 1991, they are the oldest and largest national term limits organization with the experience and resources to get the job done. The next two years will be crucial for this issue. I can't thank you enough for your interest. The term limits movement is funded by individuals, not PACs or big corporations. So this type of volunteer networking is vital to its success. Thank you. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for your interest and attention. There are so many things that we all have the ability to influence with what we do and say. So step up and make a contribution to the things you find near and dear. Till the next time, I'm just saying.